Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. This is episode 14 of Vibin. Yes, here we are today in our beautiful second little area where we record in a very undisclosed location that I will not mention. This is a 476 uh, Dragonfly Avenue for those of you who want to come send some mail. And today, I'm by myself right now because Nick uh, had too much fun last night and he blew off his dick and he's in the emergency room right now as we speak. So it'll just be me for a little bit. I hope you guys are doing well though. Minus all that. Fuck Nick. Uh, We'll just move topics like that real quick. He'll be all right. But we do have a host nonetheless. And please, with a warm welcome, maybe a big round of applause. I'd like all of you to please help me welcome Nick the Bitch. Alright, stop. That's enough. <laughs> Fucking god awful. I'll cheers to that. Now, let me. i crack open a beer. Crack and crack We are not sponsored by Modelo. Crack, crack and get, get it right in here. Give it for the ASMR. Get it nice and softly. Oh, crack into a Modelo. Oh, yeah. You hear that? That fizzle? What was that? What was that Pepsi commercial with that with that one chick? Oh, with the Mexican lady. Yeah, what was it that gave it? Was that gave really glacier? Yeah, gave really glacier. Pepsi. Cheers, Cheers, buddy. We are not sponsored by Modelo. As you can see, mine's already half gone. This is the second time it's been half gone since before. Yeah, but starting. this is also like your fourth cocktail in like three hours too. Hey, I forgot about it. Forget about it. I'm an alcoholic. Forget about, about it. Forget about it. We're gonna get rid of all these bad vibes. We're gonna get rid of all these bad vibes. We're gonna get rid of all of these bad vibes. Third time's the charm, right? Right now. It's fine. It's all good. Perfect. How long does it Ooh. Nick, you know what you should have done? The smart thing is tilt the candle over over the light so you didn't have to Well, it was already a little, little while ago and then it kinda of went out, so I don't know if there's a lapse out, in there. Because yeah. I was like, we don't need it on right now. That's <laughs> fine. Anyways, cheers. <laughs> Anyways, this man don't know what he's doing. He's fucking dumb. Cheers. Well, I've always been dumb. Well, that's besides the point. I would... Both fucking We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Vibin Podcast Hour. In this hour, we will be giving you the smoothest funk tonal voices you could imagine. So anyways, I fucked her in the ass. And then, um... Fucked her in the ass! <laughs> I puppy! That's we, gotta, we gotta get one of them, uh... What, uh, <laughs> one of them things. Effects boards? Yeah, one of... I know, I have a program on my laptop that I can put in effects. <laughs> we should get just a shitty app and just hold it up to the mic no, <laughs> every time. No, be, right. no well, it would have to be on your phone, because whose phone do you think we're using to record this? Exactly. Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, speaking of recordings, we did uh, we did one earlier today, and it was pretty good. We did do it. We did a nice uh, short about the Crow Man. Yeah, man. He's, he's a local legend around these parts, you know, he's... Uh, He's become somewhat uh, something of a, of a of a menace, you know. We 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 heard about it, and or at least I did. And I tried to, I, I tried to get get to the bottom of it. And if you check out the channel, you, you'll just, you'll see you'll see what came of that. Why are you looking at the camera the whole time? Uh, just because I'm advertising to the people. Fuck this guy, guys! Don't listen to him. Hey, Don't yo. listen to him. You know who should listen to? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus knows all. He does know all. Yeah, in a yeah. book in a of a. Of, uh, well, no, we, I don't want to go on. I don't say we, I've already said that so many fucking times already on the on the on the, on the podcast and whatnot. Caesar, do you even have any list? Of, do you have a, do you have a list of topics for this episode? Because I don't um, think you do. Me? No. I mean, I I didn't want to bring in the two articles that I was looking at because I fuck because last time we did it here we just freeformed it. Yeah, and it was nice. So I figured today, since it's a little more of a comfortable setting. We could be a little loose and a little wilder here. Yeah, we got a little, like, nice little mood lighting going. Yeah. Not as nice as your mood lighting, because you got changing colors. I just got, you know. Yeah, but this is a good vibe. This can. is a vibe, too. Yeah. The party definitely. side of things. Yeah. And then yeah. just when you're trying to, de- you know, t- tone it down a bit, be more yeah. casual. I might leave it like this for a minute until, like, 
I don't know, later tonight, and I got a cigar. Yeah, it's okay. Got the shape of it back. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, it is, it is very cozy in here. Very nice. We, uh, we, did we fixed this up real quick. It took us about almost an hour, but. Yeah, you know, shit happens. It's no, but, hey, hey, it's you know, fine. It's a process. It's a process. <laughs> like everything in life. It is a process. You're definitely right about that. It's a process. But, uh, back, going back to what you said about topics. No, I don't have any topics today. Oh, I have one. It's one I've been having for a couple weeks now that I heard about. And there's, uh, apparently, uh, live, you, you, something you have vested interest in. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I think, I, think, I heard there's you gonna a be little, the a live, live action Yu Yu Hockey show. show. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I did hear about that. Have you seen, has anything come out about it or? I've seen the, who they picked. Uh, to be the characters like they released photos of the cast alright I saw for the four main boys those, those are the only thing I saw so far for uh, Yusuke Akuabara Kurama and Hiei they right. released them um, now so yeah they released them obviously Kuwabara is one of the main characters in that show he's like the big burly guy of the group well, like the red stupid. pompadour yeah well, oh, or- okay. orange oh, not yeah, red yeah, 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 yeah. well it becomes a little like darker red later on but that's besides the point but that character that they chose for him uh, doesn't have that. Mm-hmm. Obviously, that would be maybe a little too weird. Maybe they'll to dye his hair. Maybe, uh, maybe they will. Did, did, did it I don't show think so. the char- Did you see the character portrait or just the actor? Uh, the actor in the outfit that they oh, were going okay. to wear and stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah, mm-hmm. he was wearing the blue school uniform, but his hair wasn't dyed, and he didn't have a pompadour. He just had it. It was thick, burly in the front, and it was slicked back a little bit. So it was a little mm-hmm. off-putting. Yeah. That was a little off-putting. Now he uh, doesn't look necessarily bad. But it's just, you know, because his outfit in the show is obviously going to probably look weird on someone else, you know. They have a headband covering their forehead most of the time, like a fat a fat white headband, you know. All right. Yeah. It's not bad, uh, but I'm not really too particular or indifferent about Hiei. And in Kurama, the wig is, is, is doesn't look right, obviously, because Kurama's hair, he's got like a bunch in the front, and then he has like an extra part like added to that that curves off to the side a oh, little Jesus. bit. You yeah, see, you're never going to be able to anime hair. Look, look, look up a picture of the... Let's look up, let's look up a picture of the cast. Let's look up Kurama. So I can, get a, I can get a visual reference here. Oh, God. Image, yeah. It'll probably pop up on the images. Let's see. Let's see here. Oh, hey, look. Is while I'm speaking thing? of that, yeah. That's oh, part of the picture from the recent thing. All right. Is that the guy with the red hair, but not... Yeah, but see, the problem is, look at Kurama's hair here. Yeah, yeah, Obviously, yeah, yeah. you won't be able to mimic that with a wig. But, I mean, it's the, for the hair that they have that they chose, it doesn't really sit well, you know? Yeah. It doesn't really sit too well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yusuke looks okay, I think. Yusuke looks fine. He, uh, I mean, uh, like I said, what do you expect for that? And then look, look at Cool Bar, though. That's, my, which one That's Cool Bar. Oh, yeah, yeah fucking, see, uh, it, it, it just doesn't match well for that, you don't. know? It don't. Well, you know, they're, but, they're, they're, they're trying, doing what they can. They're try, doing what they can. And I understand, like, when it comes to live action uh, portrayals of anime like that, sometimes some anime characters, literally, their hair is fucking so weird. And it's just like a, a whole part of them, too, you know, like how hair it is for us. But like, you see these guys, like Kurama, like that. No natural human being is going to have hair like that. Thick, long, and then thick in the front with an extra ball in front of it, you know. Unless that's like a hair attachment that they put on and use a bunch of hairspray, but, yeah. you know. But of course, in a realistic sense, like sure, they look fine, like whatever. Yeah, but it's passable. I guess. Of course, I it's guess. passable. I guess. That's just my opinion. At least I know there's probably gonna be a lot of fucks out there who've been who. Obviously, there's always arguments online about it and stuff. So it's probably gonna be like, um, actually, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the, I'm the, um, actually police. Yeah, actually, the. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, what do I expect from it? Live action anime, especially Netflix anime, live ad- uh, adaptations of anime are. Very hit or miss. Mm-hmm. Uh, Death Note, for example, awful, <laughs> complete trash. I didn't watch it, so I have yeah, no. Point acting of wasn't too great. Good. the The writing of it was just really bad, and the way it was edited, it was just it was bad portrayal of the characters in general. I feel that's just my take. And then let's look at one that's like Bleach. I don't know if you have you seen the Bleach live action anime. No, I didn't one? know there was a Bleach live action. There is. It's it's the first part up to when. Uh, What was his fucking name? Uh, the older brother's name of uh, Ryuzuko? No. That's her name. Fuck, it's not Renji, because that's a red haired no, guy. Renji, that's the red haired guy. Yeah, but whatever her brother's name is, yeah. yeah. She came, he came to get her back. Yeah, and it cut oh, okay. off right there when he that's appeared the, the, the first time. Right. And then, like, you know, Ichigo tried to fight him with some of that energy that he had left after yeah, he fought Kenji. Shit. And then he was like, nope. And then he put him yeah. in his place. And then it ended when they took uh, Rika. Was that her name? R- Rukia, I think. Rukia, yeah. When they yeah. took Rukia away. And then that was it. Right. Which is a decent spot. Because let's be honest, Bleach is long as hell. Even. It's 
the new uh, series is coming out too to finish it off. But like even before that, it's still pretty yeah, long. Yeah, it's like three hundred episodes or some shit. It's a lot. It's pretty. Yeah. You know, it's not a lot. Demon Slayer. Oh, I wasn't done talking about. Well, fuck Bleach. Now what else? What else you guys say about Bleach? Uh, Besides that, you like to drink it. Ah, uh, no, but Bleach. Uh, in, in back uh, to what I was saying. Yeah, it it was good for some things, but other things it wasn't too great. Like the action and stuff in it, but I thought it was pretty good. The portrayal of the characters, like appearance wise and everything, was pretty good too. Everything was fine. The only thing I think there was a little bit of the editing, a little bit of the writing, that the, the kind of flow wasn't too great. Mm-hmm. And maybe, and I think from what I remember, some parts were maybe a little too over the top. But that's just because <clears throat> they had to take those. 20, 30 episodes and put it into like two hours. No, yeah, I, I, an I hour get it and completely. Half. I get it completely. Yeah, they had to cut out a lot of bullshit. Did they have uh, Moise and Chad and um, what, Orihime? Uh, I think. I don't remember, to be honest. It's if they were, they were I've nothing because at that point they were nothing characters anyway, basically. Yeah. If they didn't... Chad's a cool character. Chad's fucking awesome. I fucking love Chad. He's the coolest. Sponsors? No. And Ad then, um, <laughs> shut the fuck up. We're never going to have that. Oh, maybe. So. That that's a, that's like subpar for at live action animes right there, Bleach. And then I think a, a they need to one. Dragon Ball Evolution, which is the best ever seen, mm-hmm. alongside the last Airbender movie, the best, the pinnacle, no, the, those best aren't the, best. the best. The uh, best to me, my favorite one that I've seen is the live action uh, uh, Rurouni Kenshi. No, I have no idea. That's the was in that nineties anime. You remember the guy with the samurai sword and the orange hair? Nope. What do you mean? No idea. Wow, fucking not a real fan over here. I guess not. This piece of shit doesn't know this. I'm, I'm, in, I'm I mispronounce it obviously, but Kenshin. That's. Oh, I that's know really the Kenshin. That, that's I, I just know the game. I know of the game. I'm pretty sure it's a Kenshin game. No. I mean, you're probably thinking of Genshin Impact or something. Or, like or that. maybe we're, maybe we're just no. thinking of maybe we're just thinking of Tenchu. Maybe. I have no idea. Anyways, who knows? Yeah, like that one was really good. I liked that one a lot. Uh, the writing in that was pretty good. They got a really good cast for that one. The looks looked pretty good for the most part, as as close as you could get to what the actual anime characters look like without it being weird. Mm-hmm. You know, it was good. I liked that one. All right. But yeah, but but each uh, like I said, Netflix is very hit or miss. And with this one, this one would be pretty hard to portray it, nonetheless. I feel, but I think live action anime in general is. Hit or miss, because, you know, yeah. it just it depends on the studio and what the, the anime is about, what it comprises, what you have to do, and what you're covering. It's, you know, just yeah, the depends more, on a lot of factors. Exactly. I feel as though that the more close the anime is to actual real life, then the easier it will be. 100%. <laughs> like, you know, because samurais and stuff like Kenshin, uh, that was a thing, you know, that yeah. was a period in time. So You, they can, you can get period similar. clothing and replicas and yeah. shit. You can't... You can... You can't really paint a guy purple and make star platinum. You got to CGI the fuck out of that yeah, shit. Yeah, and that's, that could go. That's a lot of money. Did you see the JoJo one? I did not. I saw. I saw. Uh, yeah, I saw it like a boot bootlegged it when it uh, came out. The part four, Diamond is Unbreakable. Yeah. This is it. Doesn't probably doesn't cover a lot, right? Probably only up to Angela or whatever. The Rock down. No, it doesn't cover up that much. For Damn. What it does doesn't it do. I don't like, remember. I know. Um, maybe just like answer that. Maybe up to Okuyasu. Maybe yeah. So that's kind of like the first like arc getting maybe probably that would make sense if it was up to that's a few that's like episode four or five or six or something that's a little bit in well probably afterwards like when um a little bit after that maybe you know because that takes a few episodes to like lead up to the point where his brother dies right or yeah yeah spoilers spoilers, spoilers. but if you haven't seen it by now then fuck you yeah what are you doing it. oh god no I'm sore from the gym yeah, I went this morning and I went yesterday. Good shit. Yes, very good. Very Gotta good. get swole. Gotta keep your body in well, shape. I, I, you know, whatever. Now I don't really care about my diet. So, no, so I, I fast in a few days out of the week. Now I don't do it every day anymore. Fast in a few days out of the week. Uh, tend to make a note of what I do eat some days and then change it up so it's not completely bad. And then, um, yeah, I just work around it and I think it works yeah. for me now. Do what you can to. I just I was just tired of being hungry. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, like, fasting. Like, you get fucking hungry some yeah, days. It's very and it's hard to think about. It's it's easy at first because if you just drink enough water, uh-huh. like like a lot at, at once when you're hungry, then and chew gum. Those are the biggest <laughs> things that help. And then if you get high a little bit, from what I remember, like for me, that's how that's how I lost weight. That's what I would do. I would drink like a ridiculous amount of water when my tank came up, but when I couldn't eat anymore. Because I would eat for uh, eight hours throughout the day, yeah, and then I have a 16-hour fast. I'd have a 16-hour fast in between. 
Eat and for eight so, hours straight. Just... <laughs> no, some days Friday bread you snack a little bit and then eat a lot, or mm. you eat a lot at once and then not eat so much throughout the day. Or sometimes you just eat a lot in general if you're just really hungry. But, yeah. Um, I feel I feel though that it is good for your body to do it sometimes, not all the time, because you know uh, your body. For me at least, my body is a, kind of like slow to reacting to absorbing things, and I've noticed that lately because I have you know I have problems going to the bathroom sometimes, you know, so I have to have a lot. That's, that's why I pee a lot too. I, take that I, that I have I take a lot of fiber every day, you know, like twice a day at least. Sometimes oh, I yeah. can't do that, which sucks because I get diarrhea the next day. But no, it, 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 it's, it's you should take some uh, Flentress for that. Flentress? Yeah, just yeah, take some yeah. Flentress. Yeah, I hear yeah, it's yeah. really great for that. Yeah, so Florentis. <laughs> <laughs> Flentritis. Uh, small joke, if anyone who actually listens to the podcast has seen joke. that. But um, no, yeah, that's the one thing. I feel that a fasting is good for you. You know, because I feel bodies do need a lot of time to break down everything here and there. Yeah. You know, don't do it every day unless you try and lose weight and you're yeah. exercising and you're managing what you're eating, you know, clean throughout the day. You eat plenty, you know, take your vitamins and whatnot because you don't want to be doing this and like, oh, I'm just going to eat once a day and go work out a bunch. That's not how you should do it. That's, mm. that's bad. You'll get you'll get fucking nauseous and fat. Yeah. If you're going to work out, you need to, energy to work out. Yeah. You got to eat beforehand, rest a little bit, then work out. And then, uh, you know, rest a little bit, eat something again, rest a little bit and eat something again throughout the day. You want to pace it. Mm-hmm. Or you could even just wake up. And what I did, I would wake up and the first thing I would do is go run for an hour and a half. Yeah. I'd go run for an hour and a half. And uh, for the most part, some days I couldn't do it. But, you know, for the most part, I did that. I would wake up, you know, do whatever I had to do. And then I would go straight to the gym. Not eat. Because when uh, after you know you you're done sitting for a few of that sixteen hours you you're almost running on empty so you want to yeah. go work out at that point because that's when uh, you know because usually I don't know if you notice but when you wake up in the first thing in the morning and you go to the bathroom and pee you're really skinny because you haven't had anything no, it's true yeah, 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 you yeah. haven't had any liquids or anything in your body for a while so you wake up and you notice that you're slightly slender because you you don't have any liquids in you everything has actually gone down for the most yeah, part just dehydrated and yeah. so yeah you go when your body is at that peak because then that's why you see more progress that way so you could burn through what little bits left in there and then uh, make progress towards that and then you would go eat afterwards that's the best thing to do we're not you doctors know? no that's what I, this is all from what i did personally yeah. Because I was a big fella, obviously. I don't think I've ever talked about it on the podcast, right? I probably mentioned it a few times. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, but I'll just state it real quick. I was like 315 pounds like three years ago. And I did a bunch of shit for a whole year to get I'm to sure the point where I am now. Cocaine. And I am at 235. Party with Hunter Biden. 235. It ain't bad. That's a fucking uh, 80 pounds. A, see, I was about to say 80 because I got to do that. That's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight, man. 80, 80 is a big number. One of those concrete bags that you pick up is only like 60 pounds. So imagine that, two more. Exactly. 20, 10 more, 20 more pounds. Yeah. <laughs> imagine that, two more, and yeah. then minus 100. Yeah. <laughs> minus 100. No, but it's a lot, you know? Yeah. Well, hello. Hey. Get the fuck up there, you but Yeah, no, we're not professionals. Oh, we're not yeah, medical yeah. professionals whatsoever. If anything, Stu yeah, or sick. Nick, when you get to this point, make sure at the point where I start talking about these, you put a disclaimer. We are licensed you know. by the state of Missouri to practice medicine. and No, but put a disclaimer. You 17 know. out of the 49 continental United States people. But yeah, that's what it did for me. And it, I loved it. Like, I feel really good. I like running. I, I wish I could do it every, every day. Every, and I'd like to do it every day again, but... The schedule's a little weird as of late because of a lot of things. And I'm trying to push towards to do more stuff too, but I would like to. I'd like to run every day, and I know I could, but uh, you know, sometimes it's just hard adding things to things that you're already doing. Yeah, it's just hard to fucking make yourself do shit. You want some time to relax and just do nothing, you know, just recuperate mentally and physically from everything. That's why I love the weekend. I don't have anything to worry about. Yeah, except Saturdays, and then, and then, and then shit goes no, wrong. But that's like, fun. Fuck. No, but that's fine. No, but either or, that's fun. Not yeah, that's fun. You know. Yeah, and we're gonna be doing that a lot more too now. So we got to get more yeah, custom to those yeah. things. But. Maybe streaming. If you Maybe do. streaming. I haven't streamed on my Twitch channel in a while. To be honest. But we could get back on it. Yeah, one more motivation. We could just like two, two and a half hour stream. You Easy. need to at least stream for more than two hours on Twitch yeah? to get any. To get any fucking I mean, like, variety. like four, right? If we, if I get there at ten, you go Hours? into like two. No, if I get there at ten, like a.m. Oh yeah, yeah. We yeah. can go into like two. I'm like, oh, that's four hour fucking. Yeah, gotta have good streams. Oh know? fuck. Let me get up like a schedule. Well, you know, know what I was thinking of doing? I was What's thinking that? we could actually stream on YouTube because you go live on YouTube. Yeah, I think that would be better. Too. 
So we could just live stream straight from the channel. Ludwig do does that. People do, people, some people do both. That's just uh, yeah, more but, shit going on. Yeah. More shit to go wrong. Yeah, man. Which, of course, it will. Yeah. Well, you know, technology, you know, it's hit or miss, too, sometimes. Especially when you got two guys who don't know what the fuck they're exactly. doing. Exactly. But I think that like, gaming streaming is more popular on, on Twitch. It's what it's oh. mostly for. Oh, so. yeah, definitely. Of course. So I think that'd be probably what we'd want to focus on rather than. YouTube. Well, you could do it on YouTube, too. Yeah. I'm just saying we'll be a little more loose and not yeah. have to worry so much because you can't really drink or do too much on Twitch yeah. and stuff like when that. We, we, you can't curse a lot, really. Yeah. When we get there, we can maybe do tests like two weeks on streaming from Twitch, two weeks streaming from YouTube to see what happens. We'll see. Well, let's shift mm-hmm. topics because we're just talking yeah. about like little fine. This is details. inside baseball here. Yeah. No one wants to listen to this. But sometimes we don't get to talk about this a lot in person, so it just leaks out naturally. You know what else leaks out? Your dick out of that girl you're with last oh, night? Oh, jeez. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. No, that's good. Nah. nah that's, uh, that's more. That's even deeper inside baseball. <laughs> we don't have to talk about it's that. It's even shit. deeper inside baseball. Yeah. No, but I was just making a joke because you were insinuating, uh, pulling out of something. I don't so. know. I'm going to pull out of you right fucking now. <laughs> You people can't see it, but my wiener is actually going down my pant leg, down on the ground, sl- slinking yeah, across shorts. the ground like a snake, going up this little couch's base into Caesar's pants and into his urethra. And it's great. It's I love it, it. it's fantastic. I, I I can't say enough about it. Honestly, honestly and truly, it's it's just it's it's a great time all around. Nick, where's your energy, man? It's you, um. You had something and it just completely went away after I said this one thing. I'm like, all right. <laughs> There's one crazy. It's like that trip. one fucking thing offended you for no one. <laughs> like, I, like I said that one small thing and then you, the way you reacted. No, nah, like, that's just it threw me. I'm like, all right, I gotta, I gotta bring it back now. Yeah, I'm trying not to get. I'm not trying to get hard on. <laughs> Hey man, I finished my drink. That's like you said. That's like the. Oh my god. That's Jesus. like the third or fourth. I think it's third. Like, yeah, dude, one, you're getting fucking. Hammered. Two, three. I You're getting three. hammered and it's not even 1 p.m. yet. And I'm barely on. No, it's 1. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. It's, probably it's like, 2 o'clock. Oh, it's 2 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, it's 5 o'clock about. somewhere. In uh, New York, it's 5 o'clock right now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You ever so, been to so New York? No, fuck no. You <laughs> have them. I think we talked about this before, too. On an early, earlier episode. Maybe. I'd like <sighs> to go back, though. New York, I think, is a great place to visit. Not to live in oh, too fuck, much no. fucking people. But. Yeah, unless you're into that type of bullshit. I wouldn't mind going up there sometimes. Yeah. I'd like to travel anywhere. <laughs> you should. Yeah. It'd be fun. Like, why not? Do it. True. Go out of the country somewhere. Go to Ireland. The home, me homeland. Oh, me you motherland. Get a, you have to get a passport. For Mother that. country. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we could go sometime. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah. But that would be a big old, big old trip that we'd have to plan out and go stuff. To, go, go to France. Go to France. In Deutschland. I, I think I would probably like to start with like oh, the UK or, or, and stuff, yeah, or like Australia first. Yeah. Just to like get under the nose a little bit about, little... you know, and then dabble into other places. Because like, over there, dabble. we can at least understand the language, you Yeah, know? for the most part. For the most part. Of course, you have people to be talking about, you know, you know. Fucking in, in Wales and deep in Scotland. Oh, God, yeah. have you seen those videos of, of the guys who are like in Wales and that northern part of the UK? Or like, I don't know if you ever seen this video, but... There was a, there was an interviewer interviewing someone up there, and the interviewer himself was like kind of hard to understand. But this motherfucker, when they they're interviewing this guy like from the far up north, because some incident had happened, I don't remember what. Literally, this guy was like, "Hey, he took her, like at least for like legit, like you couldn't understand a goddamn word." And even the one of the streamers and YouTubers that I like, his name is Sea Dog VA, and he's from like the Wales and stuff. The Wales. He's from Wales. Did I say the Wales? Yeah. Well, well, whatever. He's, he's from, from Wales. He, he's part whale. He's from, he's, yeah, he's, he's born from a, a whale. He's got a tail, but, you know, monkey. Anyways, uh, that's a side joke for him. But, um, to any of you Sea Dog VA fans out there, but, uh, so, what was that talking? So, yeah, he's from Wales. He's from Wales. And he has a thick accent, too. And I remember when I was first watching him, his accent was really thick. It's kind of died out a little bit now. But even he, but he understands most part, most of the accents from everything from the UK. But he said when he saw that video for the first time, he's like, I have no idea what this guy is yeah, saying. Yeah, people fucking, they're, they're, they're deep in it. You can't tell Those guys. what the fuck they're saying. Oh my God, man. It's not even funny. It, well, it is funny, but. You know when they get drunk, it's even fucking worse. It's oh my like, God, uh, It's just straight, straight nonsense and garbage coming from their fucking face holes. Like most of the things that you say. Yeah, basically, pretty much, you know. That's one of the few things I'm good at, just. Spewing just nonsense and spewing nonsense. Yeah, nonsense and garbage. Things that are not worth uh, taking in at any deeper than the surface level. You know, 
It's going to be a terrible show for you folks. <laughs> for gonna, what? It's going to be an awful show. <laughs> for what? Nah. This? That's, yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't know. That's, why? That's a, you're probably too drunk. That's why. <laughs> no, it's Are you a, still offended I, I, about it? No, <laughs> I don't care. Because um, I've, listened to, I've listened to a lot of Harmontown recently because my cousin got me into it. And Dan Harmon, he, he drinks a lot on, on his podcast. He drinks straight vodka, which is crazy. God like, damn. I could do that. I'm at the point, but it's like, I, I don't think I should. No. No. Yeah. But, uh, you yeah. haven't eaten that much today, too, and here you are just chugging down. Beer. I had I had a breakfast burrito, but I have a bottomless pit for a stomach. So well, I, I know, could, but you know. But anyways, he, he whenever we he he's, he likes to start his podcast or his show, like it's a live show in front of an audience for the most part, except for there was a time where it wasn't. He likes to say, um, "It's going to be a terrible show for you today, folks," just because he was feeling whatever. And usually those shows are usually the best ones when he says it's going to be an awful show. So you know, I'm just I'm trying to channel that a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're doing all right. Man. I mean, I, I think I have enough energy right now for the both of us. So it, right. It'll even out. All right, cool. All right, anyways, guys. So, um, I've been playing recently, actually. I got back into a Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. All right, come on, bitch. Get back up. What are you doing? I will stand. Well, I don't even remember what I was talking stand about. Stand by me, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been, uh, I've been, I recently got it because I had like 15 bucks left on my 3DS account? It was only 15 bucks? Yeah. Ba-bam. No, no, no. I had 50 bucks on my account. Oh, okay. Like, into, loaded into my account. So, I was like, oh, wow. You know what? I think I'm going to tr- just try to figure out something to use this for. <laughs> and so, I was just looking through. Because why not? I mean, yeah, at that that's point, 15 bucks, just to it's try something. to get rid of it. Because they're closing the shop in a year oh, anyways. Yeah. This is the last thing I'm going to buy from it anyways. I don't really want anything else. Since everything that I have downloaded right now is stuff for sure that I know mm-hmm. I would go back and play because I really liked it. And so... um. I deleted some space to make uh, to make space for it, but this is a Pokemon game, Alpha Sapphire, that I actually really did like. Obviously, because one of the Pokemon from there, when I played Alpha Sapphire originally, is a Pokemon that I still have now. Oh it's, shit! It's in Sword and Shield, obviously, because I have. What and what would that Pokemon be? That is my level one hundred shiny Gardevoir. Oh, that's what I was thinking. It was Gardevoir. It was Gardevoir. Yeah, I still have it. Well, 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 what's it? What's its move set? What, what we got? What we got? What we got going oh, on there? Oh boy, God! I should have brought my Switch. Got Psychic. But... It's got Psychic. Has it got Thunderbolt? It's got uh, Moonblast. Oh, what's that? Is it a fairy move? It's a Psychic basically? Fairy in the, in the newer games. Oh, yeah, that's right. So that's so, like a, that's like a special fairy type, 90 damage, whatever. Yeah, uh, that's a really good fairy type move. Fuck yeah. I have, uh, so yeah, Psychic, uh, Moonblast. Shadow Ball. Calm Mind. Nice, uh, yeah. Mine. Good, good shit, good shit. Good shit. <sighs> Shadow Ball. Thunderbolt. Flamethrower. I don't know if you're going to Flamethrower. Dark, uh, Dark Pulse, maybe? I don't remember. I don't remember the fourth move, but I know for sure I had those three moves. Maybe it was Psycho Cut, but I don't think so. No, it wouldn't be Psycho Cut. That's physical. Why would you have? Why would you have Psycho Cut on fucking? You, 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 I give, don't remember. you give Psycho Nick, Cut to, Nick, to 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 Gallade. Nick, I know, I know. I'm not saying that it's a move. I'm yeah. just saying that it could be that, but I don't remember. Oh, don't weird. get all don't get all defensive now. Though no, I'm gonna get stacking. defensive. No, God, team stacking. Gosh, dang it! I know how to build a team. I, I play Pokemon. Whatever. When I like to build them, I like to just give them as many, just like as much coverage as possible. So, like whenever I play Gen Five, always get a, I always get a Crocodile. Its move set is always Earthquake or Dig because that speed or or uh, Bulldoze for that speed increase. One of those two moves. Right, right. Uh, fucking Crunch, Aerial Ace, and Brick Break. And then give it the black belt or whatever to increase the power of super effective moves. Since he's got four different types of moves, all sorts of fucking coverage, bro. And then the Moxie on top of that, get the fuck out of here. Just sweeps, sweeps the Elite Four. Just oh, yeah. wrecks. I bet. Ridiculous damage. And then it, I, I always get a good nature as well because I like natures. I want I want my good fucking natures. Yeah. Know? Nick is almost like competitive level. If only he cared about the IVs, then at yeah. that point he that, would be That's like, too much. Then you actually got to do calculations. Yeah. And shit do that. I know. I, but I, just like, want, I just want to see. I'd I'm just see saying that's shit. why I say almost competitive exactly. level. Because I think the same way you do too from time to time is help as well. You know? Because mm-hmm. it doesn't matter, but why would I want a Pokemon that's going to do less physical damage than it could. Why would I want a minus attack nature on my fucking Pidgey? You know what? What am I doing here? Well, I'm fucking no, but yeah, okay, I want not. I want. I want that bitch pumping out fucking. I want my Star Raptor to get as much damage out of that return as possible. Woo! Dude, Star Raptor return retarded damage. Oh yeah, especially back in the the, the DS era. One twenty base power on top of the stab. Fucking. You know what? It was really good too for Star Raptor. If you knew, you'd be able to one shot it like Brave Bird. If you use Brave Bird, yeah. If you're really sure, if, you're really, yeah, if right. it was just above like half, and you're like, all right, bitch. It's a good fucking move. 
Red yeah. Bird is a good movie to end on. There's always Red this Bird's Pokemon fun. in every generation that you see that you know you can squeeze every life out of it and it'll be really fucking strong. Like, um, what's that one? Uh, Toxapex or whatever? It's like the thing, the poison water one. Toxic Croak? No, no, it's like it's a poison water. It's like it's oh, like you a mean thing. Uh, Gen Seven? Yeah, yeah, Toxic I think, Pax, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. That thing is crazy. I watched the like, guy do a. He was trying to do a Nuzlocke of uh, Radical Red, which is a Pokemon Fire Red mod. That game's fucking hard. It's super. Well, you played it on the even harder difficulty. I wanted to. Nah, it's so. I am at the third gym though. No. Third oh, gym. Jesus. Well, I'm still he. The farthest he ever got was Lieutenant Surge, just because ridiculous retarded shit. But yeah, he um. It's so fucking hard. It's not even funny how hard that game is if you put it on all those settings. He got an egg. He figured out that in the, in the first water type thing, in the first like barrier of water, if you take the egg in there or you, you fish, you surf in there, you can get its first form, and then you can just give it fucking like protect and like the poison, uh, toxic spikes, double toxic spikes to toxic it, and then just keep using protect and the other shit and substitute and just you can just make that a tank to deal with fucking everything. And oh shit, that's he, really he made good, like yeah. fifteen or twenty runs of that game trying to fucking get there, and he only ever got to. Lieutenant Surge? Yeah, he might have got past it. He might have got a... Uh, no, he might have got to, like, the uh, Rocket Tower, maybe. I don't know, but he didn't... He, oh, he never well. got to the end. He was like, no, fuck this. This is bullshit. He's, I bet it's He's probably. like, I'm not having fun. This is not... I'm not doing this. Yeah, because at that point, you know, you're really struggling for every number that you can see that you can figure and configure into, like, an attack stat or a defensive exactly. stat. Because at that point, that's not fun for Pokemon. Especially if you're doing a Nuzlocke, and it's like, fuck, yeah, it's all dead now. Yeah, that's not fun for Pokemon in general. That's... Mm, it's garbage. Well, it was a fun game, though. Well, I mean, I bet for the time yeah. being, as you saw it. But I think even competitive level, po- level Pokemon... Excuse me. I think competitive level player uh, Pokemon players even would have trouble with that themselves, too. I bet they played it. They're probably like, yeah, this is extreme. Yeah, because even, even, even the gym leaders and shit, they have competitive and fucking uh, player level like type shit with IVs and counter shit, like Amolga with fucking Electro Ball and all this bullshit. It's nuts. It's crazy. Mods in general are crazy. Oh, yeah. Mods in general. I've played a lot of the Pokemon modded games. My favorite one back then, when I lost Soul Silver and I and I uh, couldn't get a DS emulator, because at the time, DS emulators were a little rough, you know? Yeah. But at this time, someone had made a mod. Uh, it was called uh, C- Clear Crystal. Ooh. And they grabbed... Um, what was it? I think they grabbed the thing... The <coughs> the engine of what they used to make uh, like the leaf green and fire red. Oh yeah, yeah. And they modded it and changed it up to be uh, like Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold, but right. Game Boy looking. It was really cool. fun. Yeah. It was uh it pretty good at the time. I remember when it came out, the whole game was complete, but there were some things that would happen here and there that were weird. But yeah. over the time, they had patched it out, and it's a really good game. So for a while, I played that when I lost my copy of Soul Silver. I played that for a while, and you know, I really liked it. And now the DS emulators are great on phone. Fuck yeah. So on my DS emulator, of course I have Soul Silver. I've been really been really wanting to consider it uh, lately to buy an actual copy again because that's my favorite Pokemon game from that time from like Gen 5 games. and down. You just, if you did, you just make Silver. sure it was a legit copy because people sell fucking fake bullshit. Oh, I know. Copies, you know? I'll probably buy it from like an actual like yeah, store website, you know, idea. like like maybe a GameStop or... A little bit pricier, from, but... But you know, you know I for the assurance, yeah, I don't want to get ripped off, you know, because a lot of people do that, man. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I hate it. Lisandro, our friend Lisandro, he was into that too, like buying stuff and like selling them off for a while to like try to make more profit off. And I think he still does too. But for a while, when he was getting back into Pokemon, he had bought all the games again, like the Game Boy ones, because he would find people who would just sell them, like, mm-hmm. oh, this is my kids, you know, version that they don't use anymore, they don't live here, but I found it, and so I was just gonna sell it off. Don't know if it works or anything. And for the most part. Uh, when he would do that, he would get actual legit stuff. But sometimes, I remember he got like a fake copy of Fire Red. It was just because he said he was playing it for a while and it was going good and everything was fine. But then, like, the saves would just one tape and he booted it up and he just lost the save. Damn. I was like, damn. It's ridiculous, but yeah. I get it. You know, some people think they're crafty enough. Yeah, shit sucks. Oh, yeah, definitely. But you can't do much about it once it happens, you know? Yeah. But so emulators uh, and uh, ROMs oh, yeah. are always pretty reliable for the most for me. part. If yeah. you know the websites to go to, represent for all, for all regular game mods and shit. You can just go to Nexus. The Nexus they have tons of mods for fucking everything. It's great. Yeah. There's a in uh, Mass Effect Two. There's a concept where um, 
you can, uh, it's like a whole galaxy, right? It's a whole fucking galaxy, and you go to different clusters of planets. You can go to different planets. You don't land on all of them, explore them, right? You can survey them all and get resources like, uh, like Ezo Element Zero, which give, which uh, helps with like your like psionic mental abilities, right? You can get platinum and fucking uh, iridium right. type shit. And you look at the planet. Borderlands. Exactly. You look at the planet, and you scan over it, and you can see the chart where it was like those four elements, and you see, oh, right here, there's a huge deposit of iridium right here. So you send in a probe, and it gets a bunch of it, and you see the planet has like either high, moderate, lower depleted resources, and you go over the planet, and right, it's, right. it's like eight to like ten probes depleting and getting all the resources. There's a mod that came out that was like, fuck that, because that's bullshit, and just, that just pads game time. Go to planet, launch a probe anywhere, depletes immediately, strip mines it in one probe. Damn. Yeah, because why why waste time with this fucking... Because then you got to buy more fucking probes and they cost money. And then you have to buy fuel to fly around because you got to buy fuel in the second game. Just cuts out a lot of the middle... It cuts out a lot of the bullshit middleman, you know. Oh, garbage. to make the game longer? Yeah, but, it's just padding yeah. for it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Make it, make it function better. Yeah. Exactly. I get it. I get it. That makes sense. Yeah, Mods like that are very good for the for the people who do do them and like mm. make them. Like can, like my heart's my hats off to them. I would not be able to ever do anything like yeah, that. You gotta but, fucking know some serious shit. Yeah, but it's good that they do that. And some modders actually get like paid for the things that they do. You know? Yeah. Like sometimes uh, I know streamers like go out and get modders for themselves, like for the streams that they do for certain things, and they pay them and stuff like that. You know? Yeah. God, you look so fucking shit faces. You're just I'm- like, I'm chilling. I'm making sure this is still recording because it loops back. I guess after 999, it loops back. Yeah, oh, it okay, loops yeah. back. Don't worry. So now it's, oh, now it's it. Uh, oh, yeah, it's fine. I was so just saying for that minutes. good second, I looked at you. I'm like, damn, you look like... Yeah, I'm just making sure making sure all is good on the Western Front. Nick's gone, ladies and gentlemen. He's gone. Nah, I'm chilling. He's it's gone. all good. Can't wait to play Mass Effect. In a while, I've been waiting two days since I bought it. Because your downloading Wi-Fi sucks. It's fucking garbage. Been downloading for like 50 hours. <laughs> And it wasn't downloading for like another twelve hours. I was Why busy not play the first watching. one? No, I'm yeah, I'm gonna play the first one, of course. Yeah, but oh. it's it's. I bought the uh, uh, legendary edition oh, so yeah, collection, them, yeah. so it was all of them. So I have to download all of them first, you know. And you're just downloading one. Right well, it's now, downloading right? all of it at once. Oh, okay. So no, once it's fine. done, I'll be able to do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, I'm gonna do one because of course your choices in one carry over. No, to of two. course. Right. And the, I think I even heard there was a side quest in three. You can only do if you did shit in one. So oh, you had to wow. do shit in one, carry over your save file two games. It's like, hey, remember that thing you did two games ago? Oh my god! Bam. Yeah, that that's uh, to me like stuff like that. I'm like, that's too much. It's fucking. crazy, but, but it's I know great. You, I know, but you like doing like stuff that like and that. The Witcher. Like she played doing The Witcher one that'll impact shit in The Witcher three. If you do the same fucking no, I get. It. But it's, it's things shit. like that to me. I'm like, that's too much. I don't. I don't think I would invest. That's great. I know you would because well, you're very because you're very meticulous about yeah. certain things. Just like story games. So if you're doing the whole whole overarching story, it's like there's there's entire races. Like there's a race of like uh, called the Rachni, like a spider type race in Mass Effect One. You can find them and you find the queen. The queen's like, I'm just fucking trying to fucking chill, dude. And these people are fucking up. It's like, just let me fucking go. And they're like, all right, cool, you're sentient. Or you can say, fuck you, and you obliterate all of them. And then in, in two and three, there are no more Rachni because you killed them. Or you let them go, and then two and three, they can do other things and do blah, 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 blah. Right, you know? right, right. It's just it's it's interesting to see that capability and just be like, fuck the, the ramifications of your actions, and it makes a uh, higher replay value because you can go back and do this different and see how it affects this fucking shit. One hundred and twenty hours later, I get that, man. But like, ah, oh, sometimes it's just too much. Yeah, you know, for me at least. But you know, uh, there are games that I do enjoy that are like that, like Resident Evil Two. You know, well, that's kind of it. Yeah. Or, well, what was I thinking of? Well, oh, I can't remember. I had it. Well, no, yeah, Resident Evil Two, like the remake. Like, there's a, the different versions and everything. Who who you play as Leon and Claire? It's both different, you know. Yeah, that yeah. isn't like it's not one thing. though, just affecting the other, and so, you know, it's just different layouts and shit. Well, no, but like you know, it's in that it's in that realm. You yeah, know? that's why I said it's kind of like yeah. that. You know, like Fable Two would be a good example because like you you get to a certain point where you leave the main island and go do some other shit and you come back and it's some years later and depending on if you did like a quest for the church or a quest for the demon people like either the church will be super prosperous whatever and the demon like temple will be shitty or the church will be like infested with zombies and the demon temple will be fucking popping off with their demonic sacrifices and shit right and just the whole world's different and then you know Fable 2 is great. I gotta get a new 360 so I can play that shit again. Yeah, I played the Fable Anniversary on the Game Pass. It's very fun. It's, it's a good game. It is very It fun. ain't bad. It's a little, a little jank, but, you know. Oh, yeah, but it was the first one, you know. They yeah. were just experimenting, you know. It's fun. It's very fun games. They got it, they got it good on the second one from what you tell me. Yeah, Fable 2 is the fucking best one. I played Fable 3 
when it came out all all those years ago. And it's I remember, all right. Like I enjoyed it, but I knew uh, from what I heard, it wasn't the best one. But I liked it. It's, right. it was the only one I ever played that. It's that got time. spell weaving. That's a that's a cool shit. Make some fucking fire tornadoes and lightning tornadoes and share. Just make shoot fire lightning. Yeah, bars. I remember that was the best. Like that was I would so do the. Fun. Uh, like I think I would do like the the windstorm and like the swords at the same time. Like, oh yeah, just like a storm of fucking yeah. swords. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's so fun. Fire, fire swords and lightning swords and I you do fire and ice at the same time. Is uh, I married like five women. Yeah, well, got you know, tons of STDs. Got tons of STDs. You know, buy a lot of property. Make it a lot of babies. Buy yeah. a lot of properties. There's a sword, a, a weapon you can get that gets better the more STDs you have. Oh god. Yeah, there's tons of crazy stupid weapons in that game. Well, because it makes sense at that time, you know. What do you yeah. give a fuck? You don't know. Because <laughs> yeah. you don't know. Because sometimes, like, you could even have, like, a virus or the, the STD inside yeah. you. But you're completely fine. You can't, like, carry them. You don't have to. You can, in Fable 2, you can. You have a dog. You know, the dog will sniff out buried treasures. You can just dig up condoms. It's like, hey, thanks. Hey, yeah. Uh, sex. <sighs> Fable 2 is so great. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. We'll definitely play those at some point. Oh, yeah. I'd like to play those. Those would be fun. <sighs> Did you know at all what you're going to play after Dark Souls yet? Oh, uh, yeah. I was thinking like Resident Evil 4. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was right. Maybe. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, a very, yeah. that's my strongest option right now. But Anything else? Any other ideas? I have a lot of ideas, but I'm, I'm just going to go see how my mood is at the time. Yeah, I'll, I'll see what happens then, when you know? get there. There's no rush. There's nah, no rush. No yeah, rush. Plenty of time for the most part. Well, yeah, for the most part. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, did you ever check? Did you, did you delete the thing and then re-download it? The... The the Elgato shit. I did delete it, and I re-downloaded it. I yes, reinstalled it. But I haven't had time to try it out yet. Oh, okay. So, yeah, cause if, you, if if so, and if you can't find anything or look at the files, find anything, then I guess yeah, I'll just start. I'll start a new portal. I'll grind through, get to the forest, grind up. Well, I deleted level. a lot of videos that were on there. Too, yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe that shit. would maybe that would do something too. Possibly. But we'll see. But yeah, I mean, if none of that works out, well, then we'll talk about where it's going to go. Yeah. I want to talk about it on the podcast. That's yeah. side shit. You know, yeah, I don't want to yeah. talk about more that. inside baseball. Yeah, that's uh, we gotta we gotta steer away from that. Too, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Oh, we can talk about it briefly, but yeah, nothing, nothing too, uh, not the biggest issue. Nick, um, I have a question for you. Actually, I might have an answer. So you give all right, it to me. You give it to me hard, Daddy. Oh, all righty. This is for all the boys out there who watch Mythical Kitchen. No, the ladies. This is well, uh, ladies too, but that's besides the point. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh, yeah. Um, is a hot dog a sandwich, Nick? Yeah, you texted me about this a few days ago. And my, well, my, that was like two weeks ago. Was it? Yeah, it wasn't like a few days ago. I, I think it was like last week. I thought, who knows? My position is no. It is not. A hot dog is a hot dog. Hot dog is a hot dog. Yeah. Just like a, like a, like a, like a gyro or a gyro, however you pronounce it. It's not like a burrito. It's like a gyro. You know? Like a fucking... Is a is a is a is a, is a torta? Is that a, is that a sandwich? Yeah. Basically, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of yeah. It's, kinda, yeah, it's, it's a bad example. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's it a bad example. Sandwich, yeah. But yeah. My my reasoning is you know, because here's uh, here's the thing. When you got a sandwich, you got breading, breading, and shit in the middle, and that's a sandwich. Well, the hot dog, you got a hot dog bun, and it's it's more like this, right? It's more just like a pocket of bread for which the hot dog can lie in, you know. And then you eat it um, the so some people don't like home, but that's like top down, you know, like that's it's kinda of weird enough. But just but just by virtue of having that bun in that shape and eating it thusly, that makes it a hot dog. Now, if you were to take that bun and separate both sides and put the hot dog in the middle and put them like that, and then eat it like that, I would consider that a sandwich. By the formation alone, since it's in the formation of a sandwich, right? So, so you consider the hinge of the hot dog bun to be all one piece instead of it two separate pieces because it's exactly. It over. Yes, yes. And if, if it happens, if you happen to overload it and then it, it breaks apart, whatever. But as long as you're if you're eating it in the hot dog motion and not like top down like a sandwich, I would consider it a hot dog. It all depends on the way that you that you consume the food itself. Well, you don't necessarily eat all sandwiches like this, though. You could split some in half or in different in different shapes and everything to eat it just like that. Yeah, no, but you don't need, you don't need a sandwich. You, you don't turn the bread sideways and go, home like that. You'll usually, you know, for a hot dog, you kind of go, turn your head to the side a little bit because it's, it's a lot more vertical and you can't really do it to the side because you got that bottom portion there and everything will fucking fall out. Right, right, right. Exactly. No, I get it. Yeah. I'm in complete agreement with you, too. I also uh, feel that it also has something to do with the preparation of the food as well. Because obviously, if it was a hot dog bun, 
needs to put the weeder in there. Sure, obviously, you know, there's that hinge that holds both the pieces that are separated like that, but yeah. it's still one piece in general. Now, maybe that could be wrong too. Maybe in the process of when they actually make hot dog buns, it's not just the mold and they come out like that. Maybe it's actually like two pieces that they just cook on top of each other and it just happens to make the hinge as it, as it cooks. I don't know, but um, it, in the preparation, so if you have that, you know, you're preparing a hot dog like that and then, you know, you eat it whatever which way, but in the case of that, that's a hot dog. But if you actually get the hot dog, and like, you know, some of us broke folk, when we, or, you know, when we don't have hot dog buns, we get sandwich bread. Exactly. You know, and we cut that in half, and then we use that as it is. At that point, if you use, like, sandwich bread, I would feel that it would be a hot dog sandwich at that point. No, that would be no, different. no, no. So what I do is that you get the bread, and you put the hot dog in the middle, and you just go, boop, you just fold it. And then, hot dog, same motion. Regardless of the bread, you're still eating it like a but hot dog. But that's not hot dog bread, though. Doesn't that's matter. You're still eating bread. it like a hot dog. That's you know, sandwich it, bread. Then. But here, but like I said, my point earlier: if you take the hot dog bread, the bun, you see and right split there, it, hot dog bun. This is sandwich bread. Whatever. That's different. The, uh, no, no, it's, it's just it's bread. Different. It's bread. Here, listen, listen to me. No. If you take the bun and split it in half, right, and then put the hot dog in the middle, and then put the two buns, two halves of the hot dog bun, like this, and eat it like this, um, bun on top. It'll be a sandwich at that point by virtue of the way it is placed and you're eating it. If you take the bread and wrap it and put the hot dog in the middle and then just wrap it up like this and eat it like a hot dog, um, still a hot dog because you're eating it like a hot dog. No, you it's know? a hot dog sandwich because the bun is different. No. Do you want to know what a hot dog sandwich is? Take a hot dog, cut it in half, put it down, halves, then you put bread on top. That's a hot dog That's sandwich hot dog. because the hot dog is in the sandwich. Motherfucker. It's the same thing, a hot dog sandwich, hot dog sandwich, because it's the bread. You don't. No, call... it's not. It's not about the bread. It's about the way you eat it. But yes, if you look at it, if you put the sausage, you can in put the any hot kind dog... of bread in a fucking hot dog. You, put, you, you can get a whole ass. You can get a subway roll and put a hot dog in the middle of it, a yeah. whole foot long. Not <laughs> just put a hot dog in the middle. If you turn it sideways, you know, like this, it's a hot dog. If you put it regular, you know, like this, it's a sandwich. Depends on how you eat it. Wow. Beg, well, we can uh, agree to disagree. <laughs> yeah. You know, because there's a very strong opinion everywhere, you know. You, well, you know, well you put it in the middle of a cake and you eat like that. Is no, that a, a sandwich is or a hot dog? A cake is irrelevant. That's still bread. Hmm? It's still bread. You put it in the middle. You eat it like this. Yes, but that would be an item that's considered different because it's prepared differently. But it's still things. the hot dog in the middle. So would that be there's a hot, no hot dog, dog in the middle of a sandwich? cake? There's would it no be a cake, cake sandwich or a hot dog cake? Nick, this or is what I'm saying hot dog. that's different because of the preparation for it. <laughs> and then you fold the cake in half. <laughs> that's different because of the preparation, though. That, that, that this is You're being irrelevant to this certain topic of this. Cake is nowhere involved around this. So, yeah, preparation is one thing, but the 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 construction is another. Because preparation involves putting a regular piece of bread down, but construction involves folding it into the hot dog, con uh, half, half half shape, half circular shape. Well, yes, but cake cake bread is different. <laughs> We're not talking about cake, you said. <laughs> I know, but you, well, you're trying. You're still trying to fucking defend it, though, by saying well, in the preparation of everything. And look, I get it completely, but that's you know that, that that's not part of whatever of this topic that we're talking about. Cake is irrelevant. Let's just agree it's that still hot bread, dogs go best in your ass. No, I just eat it however way you want. Or just I just like starting arguments. I like to see the points of <laughs> it's other like people. being a shit disturber, uh, the devil's advocate. Yeah, but uh, doing it in person is better than doing it online. You fuck. If you do it online, you're just one of those fucking pieces of shit. I don't want. No, both. No. I don't like. I don't like doing both. But yeah, you would do it and start fights online, which is really stupid, and that's a big old waste of time. But, but when it comes to a discussion face to face, that's like this. This is this is a good place to do it in. Yeah. This is more like a debate setting, and then we could be upfront and open with each other instead of fucking being online. About our shit. dumb conversation about hot dogs and sandwiches. Yeah. Now is now is a cereal or soup? That's the tier Ooh, two yeah, argument for sure. I don't uh, see why it wouldn't be. I don't know what to do. Uh, people look up the definition of soup and, and, and to, 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 to debate Oh, yeah. This. But you can even so, do that for the hot dog, too. Look up the definition of hot dog and everything as well. But anyways, we're steering off from that. But cereal, just, yeah, cereal soup. soup. Why not? Liquid it's, dish typically by boiling meat, fish, or vegetables in stock or water. Yeah, I think I think soup has to have a stock in it. But but is 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 you can't really have uh, milk. You can't really have milk as a base for a stock. It's like a cereal. You don't really have cereal stock because then you get cereal milk. I wouldn't consider that a stock because you don't use that to cook other things. Like I said, this goes back to how it's prepared. 
You know, it's all it's all exactly. goes back to if how you, it's if prepared. You, if you boil the ce- if you boil the cereal in the milk first and then pour in more cereal afterwards to consume it, then that would be a soup. But if not, if you just pour the cereal in the milk, that's cereal. That's not soup. Like I said, preparation. Yep. I did, it can, all goes can, back can, to can preparation. We agree, can we agree that soup needs a broth defined by the broth being defined as a liquid uh, water that has been boiled in meats to retain the flavor and essence of said meats. Sure. Yeah. Okay. We can agree on that. So in that but sense, like I said, it's all it all goes back to preparation. Exactly. Because that's where it starts. That's where it starts. That's where it, that's like, the base. Like, that's the home. Like humanity, how it starts at conception. <laughs> no, I just think Adam and Eve fucked up. That's all that. Yeah, I'm saying, I mean, if they, if they came from the two people, then we're all incest babies. That's all I'm well, saying. Technically, yeah. But, yeah. But you know, that's up for debate. Well, as Christians well. don't like to talk about that. No, no, no. Well, Christians are blind to their own stupid ideals and everything. But they're just they're just all literally physically blind. Like I said, I don't want to talk about that. We talked about religion already plenty. You know what, Caesar? You can talk about this on your own. Because so I think I'm gonna go get a cerveza. Oh, do you want one? Do you want another one? Um, no, I'm all right. Yeah, are you positive? Yeah, I'm all right. Double positive. I like more water. That's why. Why can go get you some of that? That's why I can make a little. I make a little liquid run, a little sustenance run if you want me to. Yeah, let's do it. All right, well, I'll be right back. Do you want to take a break, or do you want to? No, you can keep going. Oh, you can keep going. Keep going. Entertain the people. So I'll, I'll make it quick. Hey, gang, how's it all going? Nick will be back in a second, but in the meantime, I'm just going to be talking to everyone for a bit. Some upcoming news, actually, that I'd like to talk about. It'll be September 6th. September 6th, if anyone is interested, I will be doing the open mic at the Improv in Ontario. Now, I know what you're saying. That's comedy. That's not music. Yes, I understand that. But comedy is something that I've always wanted to try. And I remember listening to a Joe Rogan podcast a a while back ago where he said, if you ever had the thought or the idea of doing stand-up comedy, that you should try it. You should try it. And I want to try it. Because I think change is good. It's always good to be trying different things to progress a little bit as a human being, you know? So I've been writing a little bit. And I'm going to try to do this five minutes that I've been coming up with. Now, I'm not going to go over what that is here. But if you want, Tuesday, September 6th, Ontario Improv, it'll all, I'll be there. Now, I don't know if this podcast will be out by that time. Probably not. But... This will get a word out to when it's coming, at least. And then September 29th, the band that I am in with some of my friends, we will be playing at the 420 Bank in Palm Springs, California. That time will be around, I believe, 8 o'clock. That's still undecided, yeah. But, like I said, who knows if this will even be out before then. This will just get the word out from then. There's some a lot of things coming, folks. A lot of things coming. And definitely most of it will be recorded by Nick, so you'll definitely get to see it when it, when the time comes. Alrighty. Let's welcome back Nick, guys. He's back with a beer and some water for me. Monsignor. Ooh. This episode of the podcast, podcast brought to you by Modelo. It's not. Modelo Especial. Drink it if you want to be cool. Sure you should be drinking more? Feeling alright? Uh, yeah. I'm... You're what, Nick? Vibin. He sure is, folks. He sure is vibin. Arm y'all. Ah, oh, thank God. What kind of hate speech are you spewing to these people? Huh? What kind of what? Maybe if you were what a kind of, more what kind, what kind of hate? What kind of hate speech are you spewing to these people? Uh, no hate. What speech. kind of racist rhetoric are you? Uh, no, no racist you, uh, rhetoric what's, whatsoever. Why, why? Why do we give people like you a platform, huh? You fucking a platform that's free. You, 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 you neo, neo, neoliberal, racist, fascist cuck. A platform that's free. Yeah. Why did they give me it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's for everybody. It's not just for me. It's for it's for. It's and for, who said I'm a neo Nazi? For Nazis and everyone, everyone, we can see it under your your thinly veiled guise of In my face. Of, of, yeah. Yeah, you see Kyle. Oh, now, oh, see, there we go. We're gonna clip that. We're gonna send that to CBS World News and fucking yeah, yeah, Polygon it, and it. goddamn uh, the Washington Post and yeah. everyone. We're gonna, send, we're gonna send it to the, our our friends in Benghazi. You know, Benghazi. Yeah, I hope they come after me. Why not? We're gonna send it to the United Arab Emirates. Oh, and, get, and, get, and get your citizenship they revoked. We're going to get your fucking passport taken. We're going to get ice in your house. Mm-hmm. We're going to fucking kill you. Yeah, and I can't wait. Bam. Would there you like is, that? Uh, yeah, maybe. 
You like sushi, Caesar? Oh, I love sushi. Yeah? Fuck yeah. <sighs> we should get some. There's a place downtown now. I didn't know that. That's where, where I went yesterday. Was it a restaurant or what? Yeah, it's pretty good. Like you sit down or and then you just... Yeah. Like waiters or what? Yeah. Really? It's a little small. It's a place where it used to be a ramen restaurant. <laughs> Really? Yeah, they still have some ramen there, but it's pretty good. Yeah, that's where I had yeah? some hot sake. What's it called? I think it's I think it's called Sushi Fun. There's <laughs> some some how, shit. How far is it? It's you know where Ruby's used to be, right there by, that by that statue. It's right there. Yeah, and Ruby's isn't there anymore. It's a new place. I had a, and that new yeah. place is called like uh, I forget what it's called. Oh, you want to go? Uh, I forget, but I went there once. It was, it was good. I, I got a patty mail. It was fucking great. You want to go get sushi later or what? Fuck, it'll be expensive. Oh, really? How expensive is it? I mean, what'd we get? We got, uh, I got sake. That was like six bucks. And then I got uh, a small order of sushi and then a larger one. And then two orders of miso soup. And then two orders well, yeah, but you paid of like for sashimi. All food. Yeah, and it was like 50 bucks for all that. Well, yeah. Okay, that's but, reasonable. If you, but if you get like one order each, then it'd probably be like, just like 12 bucks. 30, 30 yeah. bucks. It's like 14 bucks for like fucking like eight like crab rolls or whatever. It's like 14 bucks. Oh, for, really? Yeah, well, it's bad. Oh, yeah, but I mean, it's good. It's yeah. It's good, yeah. Sushi is very good. I love sushi, man. It's very good. Yeah, a lot of grocery stores are incorporating like actual like sushi chefs in there. Yeah, and that's I've not had... fucking bad. It's not it's terrible. Really not bad. No, it's, it's like not it authentic, but it's not bad. But yeah, you know? but it's okay as you. It it's is like, very good. It's like Taco Bell and that bullshit. It's not authentic, but it's, it's I good. Think, uh, I think Stater Brothers is the best one. Damn, so Ralph's, they both got Stater good Brothers. Ones. I've only had Stater Brothers before. I really like it. It was really good. good. That stuff's not expensive whatsoever, though. This yeah. is pretty cheap. Stater Brothers run for sushi. Fuck, yeah, it's like 10 bucks. Not too bad. Maybe. We'll see. We'll have some, we'll have some tacos a bit later. <laughs> oh, yeah, the tacos, definitely. I'm going to eat your fucking taco. Yeah. What are we going to do later, Caesar? Let's plan. Let's let people know what we're planning on doing. Well, we already did everything else we wanted to for the day, you know? Yeah, tell, tell, tell me about it, hon. Baby dolls, sugar cakes... Why are you sitting like that? Because I'm probably I'm probably in camera, so fuck it. It's, no one wants to see your open. Fine, legs, my my gooch. It actually smells like fish, so you should probably close it. And remember that was an insult in like middle school. Like it smells like fish. Close your legs. <laughs> yeah. That dumb shit. Oh man, just being in school. That was that was just a whole different time. It was just it was crazy, especially when we were growing up. Like it's so different now. Then yeah, just like just. We, I think at the time when we were in school, like in high school. It was on the verge of like going to the shift where it is now. Yeah, like all this know? new technology and shit. Like not everyone Old had culture, cell you know? phones and fucking TikTok and shit. Not everyone was as, Dude, even as then, connected. In uh, well, in 2017, I didn't even know what woke meant. I had asked someone what I didn't know, and then they. Why are they, they using that in 2017? Yeah, I remember. Oh, it seems like so long ago. It was in a class that I had. Oh okay, yeah, Trump was wasn't Trump. <laughs> Trump was elected by then, so yeah, of course people were saying woke. And I didn't yeah. know what it meant. I had no idea. Oh god. What was that? That's oh, fine. Yeah, it's a, it's it's yeah. Now sure. I know, obviously, but yeah, lots of new words and vernaculars come out of yeah, new times. So, you know, things that you just kind of try that like, you don't really keep up with, but you still hear them from time to time. You're like, oh, I think it's that thing. Yeah, I hear that a lot. That's the funniest thing about people when we come to remembering things like that. It's just like, oh yeah, I remember that completely. You know, repetition is the craziest thing. Yeah, and you think you remember shit, but you really fucking don't. You're just remembering your own interpretation of it, what you perceive to be happening, or your own memory of what you wanted you to have happened. You are fucking flying, aren't you? Jesus, I'm look at you sitting the way you are. I'm vibing. God, look at this drunk I'm over here, guys. I'm vibing. He is pissed drunk. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm vibing. That's what every pissed drunk says. I'm vibing. I'm not slurring. I'm chilling. No, I mean, I get it. I can I'm see vibing. You're, going, you're clearly chilling. There, there, there's a clear vibe happening. I'm very cozy with this... Lighting and this is one girl's window is nice. It's cozy. It's good shit. It's a very nice environment to be in. Take a pencil. I mean, um, nah. We got yeah. It's, you don't uh, we're chilling. Nah, I don't want to fucking just let that out. What are we gonna do later though? We're gonna fucking play some games or shit. Maybe watch a movie or some shit. Oh, I don't know. Fuck. Who's to say? I mean, we could do whatever. Excuse. Excuse me. See, no, you're fucking drunk. No, I'm tired. I'm just tired. That's all it is. I went I to the feel. gym this morning. I told oh, you. Oh, yeah. Very true. Mm -hmm. Went yesterday, too, and I was busy most of my day doing things that I had to do. Oh, Finally yeah. stopped around 4.30 when I got out of the shower. Putting that work in. I guess, yeah. Trying to put in some work, at least. You know what, Caesar? I what? think this is a good time. To let's, watch. uh... 
flesh out your D&D character a little bit, yeah? God. <laughs> you want to talk about that? I just I love just the backstory part and just making the character part of it cuz it's just fun. It's just it's a fun expression of oh, yeah, thought cuz it's like anything is possible, you know, for the most part. And you can just you, and it, it'll help inform things to come later on in interactions and how I'm going to start the fucking, you know. No, it's, cause that's it's all, interesting. It's all it's, aspects of writing. and You like writing. Yeah. It's, it. and it'll be interesting for you to know to help you just be in the character rather than in the moment be like, oh, uh, this or this. Uh, you know, it, it kind of helps to have shit going into it, have some something of an idea. No, I, I understand that completely. But, I mean, uh, I, might not, I might get a little boring. So, you know, not everyone is really into the indie. And not everyone's in the fucking music. Not everyone's in the fucking video games and anime. No, hey, I mean, I get it. And that's something. That's not everyone's in the vibing. Some people. A lot of people don't even drink. Yeah, some people are into fucking uh, spending uh, 60 years of their lives working a fucking nine to five corporate job only to live the last 20 to 30 years of their lives being like, what the fuck did I waste my life on doing that shit? You know, it's different strokes. Yeah, well, I mean, of course. But, you know, we always have to Can't have those appease everybody. people, you know. There's, yeah. there's always different type of people, you know. Yeah. You don't want to be part of the crowd. You want to try to steer away from that a little bit. Of course, everybody starts there, but then you just got to keep going, you know. Yeah. And then maybe some point, you know, you get through all that fucking mob. And you're just chilling. You just see a couple people nearby. You're just like, oh, hey, what's up? You exactly. Know, but, and that's why we got to flesh out your character. <laughs> my character. My D&D character. Yeah. It all comes back to my role in society. Exactly. I don't know. I mean, I'm a your dragonborn. Rocks. I'm a yeah. dragonborn. Well, well, well yeah. How, what's, what's your what's your dragonborn fucking... What, what's your, what do you... I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know too much about dragonborn shit, but I imagine they live in some sort of a clan type culture. Oh, yeah, definitely. You can't have those fucks out in public. Do I mean, yeah, but you can, but just as, as far as far as society goes, I mean, like I'd in general so, societal more, terms. Well, yeah, know, they're obviously. probably like the mercenaries or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Let, me, let, me, let, me, let me maybe look up some some dragonborn uh, lore or five e. You know, yeah. Oh, not fucking Elder Scrolls. Jesus Christ, five uh, e. Because dragonborn, that's fucking Skyrim as well. You know, it's fucking. I love dragon. That's why I chose it. It's Skyrim. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's. Very different. Uh, race of Draconic Creatures. Yeah, of course we know fucking that. Uh, and there's Human Lord Dragons. Yeah, this is bullshit. Yeah, phys- physical details. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Draconic Features. Yep, just, just features. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, mistaken for reptiles. Yeah, growth. Don't 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 catch much, but your abilities. No, personality. Maybe in there. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> What, 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 what do you think about for your? How, 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 I think you got into your, your warlockiness, <laughs> your communications with these eldritch beings. Well, I don't know, man. Like I could, I turn to religion because of. I don't know, well, it's not even religion. It's just it's it's, just, it's, it's on life or what is it? So a warlock. You, you can't even know what a warlock is. No, to be honest, I wasn't paying attention to the, uh, that last bit that you were saying. Well, not even that. Just, you 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 don't know what a warlock is. Well, I know what a warlock is. Yeah, it's like a battle mage. A warlock, right? Well, no. The battle mage is that's like a spell sword. A warlock. Sorry, I should have deleted some shit. I guess you want to come out. All right. So, a warlock what? is it was Mars who texted me. Probably asked me to come hang out or some shit. But we're doing this. Oh. So, a warlock. So here's okay. Here's the thing. So, a sorcerer. I'm pretty sure is a person whose magic is from within them, and they channel it and do it. A wizard. Is a person whose magic comes from books and spell book knowledge and reading and studying and practicing incantations and figuring it out rather than innate just knowing like like avatars and like water bending and like bending that that would be like sorcerers because that's innate within you oh, okay. and like um, dark souls would be a better thing for uh, with the other one wizardry because you have to learn and study and practice to be able to use a thing right mm, okay you need the intelligence to use it it's not like pyromancy that's just in you and you can just use it and then it gets better as you use it right 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 uh, warlocks they get their magic from a fucking dude from a, a demon or some type of fae or in your case it's gonna be uh, an outer being so you don't have magic at all they gave you magic Okay. That's where, like an Eldritch Blast is like channeling their power. You get a fragment of their power. To, okay, you know. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of it's it's similar to. Well, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not my guru from Dragon Ball. But that's like it's like a transference of power. They give you part of their power. No, you, I see. You what channel you're, that. See. Yeah. It's like Nine Tails with Naruto and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, he's getting it from him. Right. Right. And that's, yeah, it's not your own. You're getting it. For, so then there's usually a pact involved in that. That's like, all right, I'll give you my power, but 
you're going to fucking be an acolyte of my destruction or go out and do some shit. So there's usually some kind of interaction involved. But that's usually the case for demons and shit because demons are more coherent and they're more nefarious. Make like, all right, but I'm going to get your fucking soul, bitch. You're going to do this shit. Yeah. You know, since you have an outer being one, it might not even know you exist, <laughs> in all honesty. But that depends on what you want to do with it. It depends on what your ideal interaction with this being and how it facilitates its power into you and what type of pact and deal you got kind of going on here. Oh, I see. That is interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't want it to be something that I gain. Maybe it, it could even be something that I'm unaware of, you know? Yeah, that could be interesting that it's like this being has chosen you without you knowing it. And you just think you can do this shit. Yeah, it's like the beginning of uh, so maybe the you... new Fire Emblem Three uh, uh, Three Hopes game. Mm-hmm. The be- in the beginning, the character Shez, uh, he doesn't know he has like this thing that's inside him that's given him power too either in the beginning until he was on near death, you know, and then he he it came to light to him. He's just like, well, what the fuck is this? He didn't even have it beforehand, you know. So it's kind of something like that. I dig it. Yeah, I would dig it. Or I guess it, it could be partial to that too. How I would discover how this thing is. Mm-hmm. I'm partial on on the brink of death, but not right away. Well, we'll, we'll we'll get there into where we have to get there. But yeah. So I looked at yeah, sorcerers are the ones that have innate magic. So maybe yeah, this thing has made has made its own pact with you, or it's just giving you this thing unawares, and you think you're just a sorcerer and you can do this crazy type shit, but in reality, it's being just given to you, and you'll be made aware of that somehow at some point down the line. Like, that could that could be very interesting for a warlock. Because I, I originally I was thinking of making uh, intros, uh, for you, you and Marjorie and shit, just in, in terms of like the campaign and shit, and just how I would introduce you. And I was like, well, she's gonna be a thief, so I'm gonna have her do like a thieving, thieving course, you know. And you're, and I was like, well, you're a warlock, so am I gonna have you like practicing magic, like communing with your fucking uh, uh, outer being, and that got me to thinking, well, do you even what's your uh, relationship with this fucking thing, you know? But that right, could be. Right. It could be interesting. And it also made a Reddit post about that too, like asking how I should go about this. And a lot of people said like, well, in conventional D&D terms, like warlocks are kind of like shunned because you've made a, like a demonic evil type pact with like a otherworldly being, usually demons yeah. or like, that type of thing. So, you know. But, uh, but in this case, I think I'd like to do something like that where it's reverse where I don't know. I have Exactly. Been, so in that case, yeah. you, you would, you'd be saying, oh, I'm a sorcerer. And then it's like, oh, okay, well then you're cool. Whatever. You just don't know that you, exactly. So you can yeah. sort of I, I was even thinking about that, but I didn't know how you'd react to it. But then I, oh, that's, that's fine. Yeah, yeah I cool. wouldn't have it right away, but at no. some point, and you, you wouldn't know, have a source or a stat block and shit. But you would have, you'd have the uh, no. But I'm pretty yeah. sure there'll be a point in the story where I'm yeah, near well, death. Yeah, I could so. figure. We could so figure you, I could figure out something. You could fit it in. But yeah, let's go, let's go for that. Though. Yeah, I think right, that, yeah, that's interesting. Right, yeah, so, so I'm more excited for this character. Now. All right, so now that brings us back though. That's your that's your that's your class. Yeah. Shit, but what about your race? What's 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 going to deal with 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 being a dragonborn? Yeah, it was a dragon. Yeah, what's 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 how, how you getting how, how you getting to where you are? I don't know. I mean, I was born in a, somewhere. You know, we're born I was a born a dragon. Yeah, I was born. You know, I was just born. Uh, I don't know, in like a village that that was all dragon born or whatever. You know, you're a blue dragon, so I'm pretty sure it's lightning. Blue I think dragon. I think that's what we figured. Yeah, oh, yeah, that'd be pretty dope. Yeah, yeah, you're from a village somewhere high up. There's a the clan. Yeah, high high up mountain, mountains, like a dragonborn you know? clan. Yeah. From what I just saw, they pride. They 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 one of one of their big things is pride, and they're fucking pride themselves and shit. So yeah, maybe, maybe you're on some sort of pilgrimage to 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 prove yourself or find something within. I could say I'm I finally at that age, you know, where I can actually leave and explore. Yeah. You know, because I've gained all my knowledge of everything of my race and whatever. Yeah, you, whatever yeah, I yeah. have to up to that certain extent. Mm-hmm. Point. And at this point, I'm just like, well, I could either stay or I could just go now. Exactly. So I was just like, well, I'm gonna go. Exactly. explore the world that's it yeah, just to see see what there is and then yeah. somewhere along the way maybe you you, you gained access to the, the, this other worldly being saw you and saw some sort of potential within you and was like hmm let's sprinkle or just, it just send out its otherworldly tendril just into you and it's like there we yeah, go yeah but that's saying. something story wise that you have to figure it out <sighs> ooh thank you for that that leaves ooh that's it's spicy it's that, could, that, that leaves a lot of, that's a big ooh that's, that's a big open hole for a lot of a lot of narrative possibilities there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, that's good to know. Let's leave it at that. Right. I can make a good intro for that. My name? Oh, you don't have a name. name? I no, I don't think so.
You can think of it later. I can look up. Do you want yeah, me to look up like, like a Dragonborn name generator? Yeah, I guess. Why not? Oh, Might let me as look, well. up, look up the five E Dragonborn name. Five E Dragonborn. We're already on the topic names. so much. As well, you know. Yeah, fuck it. Whoa, what's that? It's uh, the poster because we took these bottom two out, so it's loose. Oh, I see it. I see it. I yeah. Oh yeah, it's all just a bunch of fucking just a lot of lot of a lot of consonants, not a lot of vowels. Mea kol prekraft. Oh, I'm not kidding. Kompiakman shashkan. Yeah, that's fucking. Vinkshatosh ravorakash. No, what's Latin for dragon? Yeah, English to Latin. Oh Jesus, this is all fucking English to Latin. Riveting podcast content. Oh, I mean, I guess, yeah. I mean, it's interesting. We're just having yeah, a Draco. Time. <laughs> Draco? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't want that to be your name, but if you want that to be your name, that can, <laughs> that can be your name. If what about tra- Dragonian to Latin? Dragonian? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Let me look up Draco in English into Latin and see what fucking yeah. happens. Uh, 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 uh. Let's open it up. Man, this fucking technology is terrible. Oh, Nick, what's wrong with your data? It's just Draco guy. Okay, I put in Draco to Draco. No, let me look up. Let me look up Latin to Swahili or some shit. Let me look up a uh, Bosnian. I guess. Into yeah, Latin. Fuck it. Bang. Let's look up Bangla. Latin into Bangla. No, it's oh. Tigrana. All right. Well, let's not do that. <laughs> into Chinese. Long. <laughs> your name is Long. <laughs> <laughs> you can think about it. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll think about it, man. Yeah. Let's not. Let's not. Uh, do you do full Skyrim to be Parthenax? <laughs> wow, well, you'd be a. Uh, be parcel tongue. Why not? You'd be what's his name? The fucking bad dragon in Skyrim. What's it? Alduin. Yeah, Alduin, the war leader. Alduin. Mm-hmm. You'd be Sephira, like an Aragon. True. He's a blue dragon. Oh, Egyptian? I could probably find something in Egyptian that would be cool. Yeah, some we'll shit in Arabic maybe. We'll it's, see. We got the backstory figured out for the most part. That's the most important. That's the best important thing, yeah. Probably going to be the most in, uh, one of the most in-depth characters I've played, yeah. It's probably the, it's, it's, it's the second character you've ever played, so, right? Word. Oh, yeah. I played drag, uh, D&D before. So. Oh, nice. Who is it? You fucking cheating on me? Uh, no, I've told you about it, you fucking dumbass. I don't know. It was from, when I first started working at the job that I am now, the, uh, some people there were playing it, and they invited me to come on. So I was like, oh, why not? I went to a few, few, few times. And I just got tired of, of going because I was just, it was a little far sometimes. I, was, I had oh, to go yeah. to them. So I was like, oh, man. I feel that. I'm kind of tired. Yeah, fuck so yeah. A lot of times, I try to do other things too, and then some days I'll be like, nah, I want to sleep, you know? Yeah, you can do what you can, you know, but it's just too far and just too. Out of way for your it's sleep schedule, you know. Plus, they probably play like night or some shit, like on the weekends. It's like yeah, fuck, on I weekends. Sleep. Yeah, yeah you know, like, I'm awake for work at this time. I don't want to be awake at my work time on fucking weekends. Yeah, it's whatever. I'm just like, yeah. Did you have fun though? Was it a good time? Uh, for the most part, it was alright. It wasn't too bad. What was your character in that one? I was a go- uh, uh, a go- uh, forest gnome. All right. And Again, I, I was a. Uh, my name was Tonk. Oh, no, that was what you did for. That was what you're gonna make for this one. Was that was that what you had on the other one too? You're just remaking your fucking one you're oh, doing probably, for that. Oh, probably. Yeah, because okay. yeah. I didn't want to yeah, make you, another you, one. Like, yeah, I got a character that you were I a monk. Used. I had a character. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Okay, I was yeah, a monk, yeah. but I was like, yeah, it's I had a character reason. that I right. used. So I was like, oh, why not? I've always wanted to play a monk because it seems interesting. Just a. I had a sickle. Yeah, you know, cool shit. sickle too. <laughs> cool martial weapon. It's great. <sighs> That'd be fun. That'd be a good time. I can't imagine back in those times, like when people were actually fighting with shit like that, like samurais with like katanas, how they were fighting. When you would go maybe explore new lands and invade, you fight someone, they would just have like like a shkimtar, fucking scimitar, you know? Yeah. Or they had like a fucking uh, like an axe pole or something like that. It'd be weird ass fucking things. They'd yeah. be like, oh shit. Yeah, in wars, a lot of people they didn't use swords. Swords apparently were like mostly like a sidearm type deal. A lot of people use spears because a spear is. A- Pointed thing on the end of a long stick. Well, yeah, you, you range, can just be far know? away. Exactly. That's what most people use. And just like modern movies and shit have been dramatized to the point where it's like, all right, everyone's a big sword battle. It's like, no one fucking. Who the fuck would want to get right up in here when you have to? It's like, no, fucking, you just stay away from me. Die, motherfucker. You know, maybe at some point, yeah, of course. It's I when you that. lose your spirit. It's like, well, all right then. Fucking, yeah, let's get in there. You know? Yeah. And you side your shield to fucking the, the, the Dark Souls. 
No, dude, I, I know for a fact if I was alive in those times, I would have died of well. Someone was yeah, like no. chopping my fucking arm off because I blocked, <laughs> I blocked too soon. Yeah, or something. Just, you block it and then the pressure just breaks your arm. And it's like, oh god, and they just slice <laughs> down oh. here. Oh, oh that would be nasty. <laughs> then, or if not, you just die of some fucking infected wound that's just like oozing and pus over like five healed. days. You just get pale and you just have this terrible fever and you just feel like shit. And it's like, oh, kill me. It's awful. Yeah, it's like, oh, you, you got shot in the leg? Well, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Bye. Hey. Sorry. Drink here, drink this. Whiskey. Just get you drunk as shit. Then I have an aesthetic. All they can do is just get you, here, drink this, then pour it on the wound. Oh, That's all I could do. That's okay, all the man. alcohol, that's what the alcohol they had. <laughs> exactly. You're just Dude, drunk that would get you more drunk, too, because the alcohol at that point would be directly in your fucking blood. <sighs> well, yeah, but they just got to cauterize and fucking purify it. And then, Jesus, yeah. You would or, die too, even if you. Yeah, that's what happened to most of them. They fucking died. <laughs> even if you did heal up and shit, you probably got some sort of fucking disease eventually. Yeah, no, yeah, from yeah, the penicillin wasn't made until fucking. Dude, that's making me feel really like disgusted and feel gross right now because just thinking about it. Like, yeah, pretty uh, pretty awful. You know, you know what else is awful? This episode of the podcast. No, Why do pretty, you say that? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I was I was giving a little joke, a little you, funny, haha. You make it sound like it's over, Nick. You want to end it or what? You tired? Oh, good. We've been going a little over an hour, I think. Really? Wow. I think so. It's been possibly. that long, huh? Can we scroll through here and see? No, I mean, I'll, I'll, we can end it if you no, want. I'm fine. down. I mean, we've, been, we've been going a little bit. I think yeah, we could end it. What time is be, it? It's 3.08. Yeah, we, we could. We started like at 2 something. We came in yeah, a little bit close to 2. So. An hour today? Yeah, we could end it here then. Yeah, no, I'm good. Well, let's do uh, some let's, music. Let me make sure this is fucking recording real quick. Oh, While I'm doing that, you can do music is. recommendations. Let's do some music recommendations, guys. Music. Very beautiful. I've been listening to some recent things lately. Lately, I haven't been listening to anything too much that's new. I've been going back and listening to old albums that I have. and just clicking shuffle a lot to see what happens and whatever comes up, comes up. But I've been really getting into uh, Bill Evans again. I really love Bill Evans. Uh, I believe uh, one of the latest, his latest album that dropped, even though I'm pretty sure he's dead, you know, it's just one of his like latest reworks of an old piece that he did, but I believe it was called, uh, it was uh, Rites of Spring or uh, Passage to Spring, something like that, I can't remember, something with the word spring in it, but Bill Evans, very beautiful jazz piano, it's just him playing piano, he's got a bassist, and then he has his uh, drum player. And I believe that's all there is. Sometimes a flute here and there, I think, but I think that's all it is. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty simple. Bill Evans, guys. Bill Evans. And the two lonely people too, by him as well. Listen to that. Uh, my recommendations are going to be uh, Steely Dan. Steely Dan. Can't can't go wrong with Steely Dan. Steely Dan. You FM can't. no static at all. Uh, uh, fucking. <laughs> I'm blanking. Shit. Uh, Steely Dan. Steely Dan, boys. Um, it's okay if you can't remember. Back. Do it again. That's another one of the good ones. Do it again. Um, yeah, just Steely Dan. Good shit. And also uh, Logic. Logic's fucking great. It's a, lot of, a lot of people give him give Logic flack, or they used to, because a lot of his music for a time, I'm, I don't keep up with music, so I don't know what his most recent shit is. Over time, a lot of it was just basically... Uh, center around just like the theme of like uh, I'm I'm half black and half white and people don't like that and I'm both and that's okay black pride and white pride and I'm uh, let's just fucking love each other just stop all this dumb bullshit and that was just kind of what most of his songs was going on it was different beats and shit you know different aspects of his life and shit but that was just the main focal point but again I don't keep up with music so I don't know what his recent shit is but I get it I get but it but it's also fucking it's good music I love this fucking yeah, track it's, it's of course cool. and uh yeah that's about it Guys, if you stuck us, if you stuck with us throughout this far in the end, thank you very much for listening. Oh yeah, we thought about doing a Yu-Gi-Oh duel, but <laughs> no, <laughs> after, after doing D and D, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh duel seems even less like. No, we could do that ourselves later. Yeah, it'll be okay. Yeah, smoke a little bowl and play a little yo. But guys, for real though, thank you if you made it out this point. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Uh, the ch- the link to the channel will be up somewhere here. Somewhere. Uh, maybe here. Over. Right here. Th- maybe up here. Maybe up here. The link to the channel will be there, and uh, a video, a nice little video, will be right here if you want to see. Check out some more content. Somewhere over here as well, another one over here, maybe. Maybe. 
No, for that thing, it could just be the channel in a video. You uh, can't okay. do it. What channel? Two yeah, videos. Yeah. Bullshit. So, yeah. I've seen some that are. It's a channel in two videos. But maybe, 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 maybe we've got to be, got be better content creators for YouTube. we got to level up. There's probably more options. I just career. don't scroll all the way down. Because in my mind, I'm like, oh, this is fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But yeah, guys. There'll be um, shit somewhere. Like, comment, and subscribe. And peace. See ya. Fucking. God, thank God dun, this is all dun, going dun, on. Dun, I fucking hate all these people. Yeah, this fucking guy. Who the fuck does this shit? What's your spell?